Hey friends, this bonus episode is all aimed at letting you hear the stories of the people who listen to The Morning Mindset, including many who have been helped through not a needy person. I just want you to sit back and revel in the good that God is doing. Hi there, um, my name's Mel. I live in Australia and I just wanted to share a little bit about how The Morning Mindset has blessed me. So I started listening to it here in 2020 and I was just becoming a Christian. Um, I was thinking about God and so I looked up a morning podcast on Spotify and I found this one. And so I started listening to it. And yeah, through your teaching, I just came to realize how amazing God is and just all the goodness in Him. And yeah, it really helped me to, yeah, know the importance of having my mindset every morning and going out and spreading God's love with others. And yeah, it's just blessed me so much and taught me so much and really has been a challenge to me every time I listen to it. So thank you so, so, so much, Kerry, for everything that you have done. And I really love how you've developed it as well. I love the not a needy person aspect. I think that's really, really awesome. And yeah, I just thank you so much for this amazing resource. And I'm sure it's blessed so many other people as well. So yeah, thank you so much and God bless. One of the people we've been able to meet and interact with through not a needy person is a guy named Jonathan. Jonathan has had to have organ transplants, a house rebuilt after floods took it away. I mean, all kinds of crazy things have happened in his life all at once. It's kind of like a modern Job story. But he sent us an email recently that we just wanted to share with you. He says he was listening to a sermon as he left his last delivery. He drives a propane truck and the pastor was asking, what do you want? And these are Jonathan's words. I was thinking in my mind from my heart, All I want is to be able to take care of my family and glorify you, Jesus, through my story, to be your light and spread it to my son, as long as you give me life so that millions of generations would know your ways, your love, your faithfulness, and shine in the world. That's all I want. Then the PayPal notification popped up. Immediately, I was sobbing again and praising Jesus as I thought about all these people that have blessed us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba. You are so faithful. And that PayPal notification that Jonathan's talking about was the money that we were able to send through not a needy person to help them out with bills and with food on the table and things like that. It is a miracle that's happening day after day through not a needy person. And I want to thank you for being a part of that. Hey, Carrie, this is Harvey, and I truly love your podcast. I heard about it from one of my praise teams member at church. I listened to it that afternoon and have been devoted daily listener ever since. And why? Well, I start every morning with my devotionals, and that's me and God. Okay, but then the next thing I do is I pull up your podcast because now I have someone else pouring God's love into me you. It's just a very small little snippet, but it puts me in the right mindset to begin my day with Christ. I kind of look at my morning devotional time as my breakfast with God, and then I top it off with you, which is like the cream in my coffee to sweeten my day. I have shared your podcast with several of my friends because to me, it is the best way for anyone to start their morning with God. Man, I look forward to every morning listening to your podcast, man. You're a blessing, and you have a wonderful day. Another person we've been able to help through, not a needy person, is a young woman named Amy. She says, thank you so much. I can't begin to describe how thankful I am to you and to God during this time. I'm so humbled, and even though I know God is so loving and capable of anything, to actually actively see it in my time of need has truly humbled me to my core. Thank you, and have an amazing Christmas season. Amy, thank you for letting us come alongside. And thank you, Morning Mindset listeners, for helping through Not a Needy Person to help people like Amy. Hi, Carrie Green. This is Sharon Wagner. I'm new to the podcast and new to your Morning Mindset, which I really love. I'm glad I found you. And I did go back and and listen uh, since December 26th to have the preparation for this year. I thought that was really good. And um, today I listened to, to your Saturday uh, morning mindset for Proverbs 12, 16 through 18. And boy, was it right on for me. And I really appreciate this six minutes in the morning and spending time with your group. 
I look forward to continuing trying to figure out how I can get my notifications for your podcast to come up first so I can listen to it first, but I'll get that figured out. I'm just glad to be a part of your little um, group here listening in, and I look forward to participating when I can. Thank you so much. Good morning, Gary. This show really is truly inspirational. It definitely gets my mind aligned with God every single morning, and, and I can't express how much I appreciate looking forward to getting up and, and talk about what the Word of God has to say. I'd like to say thank you very much, sir, and that uh, I look forward to listening to you every day. We've also been able to help a woman named Elsa who lives in South Africa, and she's been homeless for quite a while. She asked through Not a Needy Person for us to help her buy a truck so she could live in her truck and still get around to doctor's appointments and things like that. We were able to do that. The campaign is finished and the funds are on the way to buy that truck. And she wrote an email. She says, it's very exciting. I've pretty much not been so excited about anything for a very long time. God will show me how to use the truck to show his glory. I know that because I never had to trust him this much in my entire life. It's only when you realize that there truly is no one else. There is only one God, and that's when things start to change your mind. I'm so blessed that I found that before I die. Many people don't even get to realize how wonderful our Father is. Like me, they're scraping around the surface and just can't put in that extra bit of faith because they're scared. I get that because I was scared too, until there was no other option. I've decided to write down all the things God has done for me and stuff I didn't even know he was doing and all the time he was keeping me safe. I can go to the clinic now. I don't have to wait for a lift. I can even offer to take three or four people with me and that would cover the diesel money. I can organize x-rays and see what other miracles my only true father has in store for me. Maybe he will give me my health back, but you know what? Even if he doesn't, that's okay with me. He is the source. All things come from him. We are just instruments. I love the concept. I'm not a needy person. It's a wonderful work. It's a good work, and it will bless you more than you can ever know. Elsa, it does bless us more than you know. It is an amazing thing to be a part of so many miracle stories where God does the work. And to see that catalytic moment when people's faith is revived and their their hearts are encouraged. Thank you, Elsa, for submitting your need. And thank you, listeners, for helping Elsa get her truck and get a safe place to sleep, to live, and to get around in her city. That is just a taste of the kind of things God is doing through the Morning Mindset and through Not a Needy Person. And I want to thank you for your participation. I want to thank you for your prayers. I want to thank you for those who write in and give us encouragement. We want to keep doing this as long as God has for us to do it. If you are new to the Morning Mindset, I welcome you. I hope that you will subscribe and listen day after day after day to get your mind aligned with the truth of God.